Now from the oil and gas sector to competition in the banking sector across Africa is revving up, in particular among the big names from East, West and Southern Africa. Now listed on three big exchanges in West Africa, but operating across nearly 35 African countries, the Ecobank Group says it's setting higher targets for itself as the administration of the new group CEO, Jeremy Awori, gets underway in Togo, the, uh, in Lume, the Togo capital. The Ecobank Group CEO was at the Nigerian exchange earlier today, and I caught up with him for a brief chat. Let's take a listen. This is a strategy that I think really just talks to scale. Right. Um, one of my beliefs, and I think the group's beliefs, is that we really need to take banking services across the continent. You know, we're, we're over a billion people. Um, we are a bank that is in uh, 39 markets, uh, and we have a responsibility to help financial penetration. Um, so today we've set a lofty goal of 100 million, uh, and we believe we can do that. We've got banking services that allow you to open accounts online without necessarily having to go to a branch. We've got a very strong system um, that, that enables you to perform transactions. And I think powerfully why we want the numbers is so that we can get scale and hopefully bring the cost of banking down over time, but encourage payments across the continent. Um, you know, today we can do real-time payments from uh, Nigeria to Togo, Nigeria to Kenya, uh, what, something which not many banks, if any, can actually do it real-time today. And we want to use that to encourage SMEs to trade, you know, Africa continental free trade. We must make it happen. And that's often with small traders, um, you know, across borders. So we're excited about that and we're going to go for the target, even if it is uh, a lofty one. Is it the SMEs where you see that big numbers coming from across the continent? I, I think it's both, right? Uh, there's SMEs, but there's also consumer clients. Our business typically was more focused on the corporate bank, but we still see a lot more growth coming out of the consumer uh, side of our business, the retail uh, side. But then more importantly, why we're excited about SMEs is because that's really what drives a lot of our African economies. It drives employment. And if we can put together an ecosystem that makes financial services accessible and relevant across the countries in which we operate, then that will hopefully play a small role in lifting up economic growth and the livelihoods of Africans. Interesting how the earnings season is coming through. Tell me a little bit about your latest numbers for full year 2022. Yeah, the business grew. I mean, it was obviously a challenging year, um, you know, but the business grew well. Uh, as you've seen, we, 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 we grew not just revenues, but we improved our cost income ratio. Uh, we improved our return on tangible equity to over 21%. Uh, and, and I think that's important because I think in the past, there's been a lot of work done by, pre by my predecessor, Ade Ayayemi, uh, around really just building this bank ready for the future. So it's really about building off that uh, to drive strong returns for shareholders. That's why we're here. We're listed here on the Nigerian exchange. Shareholders want returns. So we're balancing out our growth, transforming our business and giving strong returns to our shareholders. You're in 32 African countries, so you're looking to do more listings beyond the three markets in Nigeria and West Africa, where you currently are, the BRVM as well as Ghana. I think the focus really initially is just really how do we really make sure that we've got the strongest set of products, that we've got world-class service. Uh, obviously, as you do so, then you need to think about what investments you need to make, what partners you need, um, and how you raise capital and you know who you bring in. So in some of our markets, we've already got local participants who are co-shareholders with us. In others, we're 100%. So I think as the strategy evolves, we'll obviously look at that on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, yeah. 54 countries in Africa, you're in 32. You've got. In fact, we're in 33, plus we've got another six. Where we're so, you've got, so, you, so you've got about 10 or 15 more. Yeah. So are, you, are you moving forward? We're moving forward. We're making good progress. Uh, I mean, obviously, we know the economic environment has been a bit challenging globally, uh, but we're excited about the prospects. You know, I think Africa is a continent on the move. We have arable land, we have natural resources, we have smart people. Uh, you know, we've got strong tech, you know, so it's the place to be right now. OK, fine. Capital is more to the West, but that's not going to last forever. So I think we're going to be the bank to watch and uh, the bank, hopefully people want to partner with as they grow. And my final point is the EFCFTA. How well healed are you within the uh, intra-Africa trade program that EFCFTA, the African Bank and others are pursuing? 
it's absolutely vital to what we want to be and how we want to play on the continent. As I say, we've got the capacity to make real-time payments across all of our markets. Just think about the power of that. You don't have to go through complex means of moving money because part of trade also requires payments. So we've got the services there. We've got the relationships with government and with business. Now, what we really want to see is an acceleration, working with all the partners who are interested in this to make it easy for businesses and their owners to actually do trade. Um, and part of what we do well is linking up people, you know, whether it's Kenyans who want to buy from West Africa, whether it's cocoa or whether it's people wanting to sell tea or we've got that capacity. And that's what we're looking forward to. In fact, we've actually launched a trade hub which will link both parties uh, and encourage that trade. Yeah, my uh, conversation just a couple of hours ago with Jeremy uh, Wuri, the group, the new group CEO at uh, Ecobank Group uh, in uh, Lomet.